In this unit, we're going to look at solving Laplace's equation on the disk. So you can imagine that we're modeling a situation where we, where we want to find the equilibrium temperature in a disk of radius r, where the boundary is maintained at a temperature given by some uh, prescribed function f. So we want the function to be harmonic inside the disk, and we want it to take value f on the boundary of the disk. OK, so let's take a look. Um, we'll set this up in polar coordinates. So in polar, so u as a function of r and theta, um, then the formula for the Laplacian in, in polar is u r r plus 1 over r u sub r plus 1 over r squared, double partial of u with respect to theta. So that's our Laplacian in polar coordinates. So that should be equal to 0. And this is uh, where we are inside the disk. So r should be strictly less than big R. And um, theta goes all the way uh, around. And so our boundary condition is that u whoops, uh, at big R for any theta should be given by the f value for that particular theta. And then there's also implied boundary conditions, because we are in a disk. So if this makes sense and our solution is uh, continuous, then it should be the case that um, u of r0 is equal to u of r2 pi, and also that uh, du d theta is the same at both 0 and at uh, 2 pi. OK, so uh, what we're going to do is use uh, separation of variables. So the um, assumption that we're making is that u of r theta factors as uh, some function of r only, so some radial function times some function of theta only, so some um, periodic uh, circular function. And so when we uh, substitute this guess into um, the PDE that we have, uh, so this, the spatial derivatives go to the y. So we have y double prime g plus 1 over r y prime g plus 1 over r squared y g double prime equals 0. And from this, we get r squared y double prime plus r y prime divided, uh, divided by y equals minus g double prime over g equals lambda. So there's our separation constant. Uh, so this is going to break apart into two equations now. On the one hand, we'll get the equation uh, for y, r squared y double prime plus r y prime equals lambda y. Uh, and then on the other hand, we will get the, uh, the equation for g. So g double prime equals minus lambda g. And if you notice the uh, periodic boundary conditions, so let's see. So if we uh, substitute our, our separation of variables guess in, we get y of r g of 0 equals y of r g of 2 pi. So this, this is the, uh, uh, the one u r 0 equals u r 2 pi. Uh, <coughs> and so then, let's see, so if I subtract across, then I have y of r g0 minus, whoops, g2 pi equals 0. And so then it has to be the case that uh, one of these guys is equal to 0. And it's not going to be the first one because that would kill my entire function and I wouldn't get any non-trivial solutions. So then it has to be the case that g of 0 is g of 2 pi. 
And so we get uh, that these conditions, the periodic conditions roll over onto the periodic function. Big surprise there. I'm sure you, you're absolutely shocked. So we have two conditions to solve, uh, the periodic, uh, sorry, two equations to solve, the periodic equation for um, G, and then the other equation for Y, and somewhere along there we've also got our uh, initial condition, YR G theta is going to equal F of theta, and so we'll have to work that one in as well.